Well, greetings nerds and happy hump day. Welcome to the second part of drawing Mr. Beeps. We're going to continue to work on uh, this part of his hair, the left side of his hair, by adding a little bit more details. I'm going to try to use the white gel pen to see if I'm going to create a lot more stronger highlights. The scissors are working for the most part. The white oil paste though is also working too. I'm going to do a little more work to this part of his forehead. The picture I'm using, Mr. Beast's forehead is a little bit pink to me, so I'm going to add a little more color to Mr. Beast's forehead. We're also going to work on the bottom right portion of the drawing. So I am pretty excited, but also a little bit nervous. I do get that cold feet because, well, just take your time, Jules. You got plenty of time. We're gonna make some uh, stronger progress. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and continue the drawing of Mr. Beast. This past Monday night, I did check out Mr. Beast's Squid Game in Real Life video, and oh my goodness, nerds, I gotta say that video by Mr. Beast was really awesome. Uh, there was plenty of intensity and like fast-paced action throughout the video from start to finish you know uh, i did love the game red light green light of uh, of those people trying to cross the bridge i feel like there were a couple games that took away the intensity of mr beast's video but the video still turned out really awesome and i do recommend it if you haven't checked it out already if you haven't seen this video i highly recommend it it really is just so wonderful uh if if i have to give it a rating i would perhaps mm, give it maybe a 9.6 out of 10. Uh, the reason why i'm giving it that rating is because well there i wish there was a lot more intensity and like fast-paced uh, action in the video but i still respect it i still i honestly saw it uh, I feel like the marble game and uh, there's this one other game where you have to like throw something on the ground I feel like those That they weren't that intense to me uh, as far as I'm concerned, you know in my opinion nerds but the red light green light game and Those people trying to cross the bridge without falling off those were <sighs> completely intense and I gotta give it, I gotta give those to Mr. Beast and those kids. I wish I could participate in any of those challenges um, uh, created by Mr. Beast, but <laughs> I'm just a freaking loser. I'm just a guy who does art uh, in front of the camera and just provide a bunch of voiceovers. So yeah. Um, yesterday I also checked out Mr. Beast's Chocolate Factory video. If I have to give it a rating as well, I would probably give it maybe a 9.1 out of 10. It wasn't as awesome as the Squid Game in real life video. Oh, uh, I forgot to mention this. I haven't seen Squid Game before. I'm familiar with it, though. Uh, it's a very, very good, a very popular uh, Netflix series. It's Korean, actually, but I believe there's like an English subtitle or something like that. Maybe an English translation or an English dub. But regardless, uh, oh, let me uh, show you the ratings of Squid Game, the Netflix series. You can tell this is, it's a really good series. And yeah, I don't even watch TV that often anymore. But regardless, again, <laughs> nerds, I do apologize that I keep on uh, jumping from one topic to another. Uh, I saw Mr. Beast's Chocolate Factory, Chocolate Factory video. I gave it a 9.1 out of 10 because I don't know I did that video was honestly making me hungry it made me want to buy uh, Mr. Beast's chocolate bars because Mr. Beast does has his own uh, chocolate brand on uh, feastables.com and feastables.com it's founded by Mr. Beast himself I forgot to mention uh, about I forgot to talk about feastables in the previous part which is specifically the first part of this whole adventure of drawing Mr. Beast. So yeah, it's the type of video that will that could easily make you hungry and make you want to crave a bunch of candy like chocolate. So yeah. And I do got a very bad sweet tooth. Uh, I actually saw a clip before, if I might be wrong, I think I saw a clip of Mr. Beast's chocolate factory video on Facebook, I believe. 
I might be wrong. Sometimes my memory is terrible, and I do apologize about that, but I think it was. I remember correctly, I think. I'm not too sure by 100%, but I believe I saw the Chocolate Factory clip on Facebook by uh, Mr. Beast. Uh, the, some people were throwing a giant Mentos into a giant bottle of Coca-Cola, and one person was actually able to get the giant Mentos into a giant bottle of Coca-Cola and made the Coca-Cola, you know, um, I, <laughs> this might be uncomfortable for me to say, but the Coca-Cola bottle just straight up busted a big fat nut. <laughs> I'm sorry for saying that, nerds. I'm just joking. But that was also a really good video. The fact that Gordon Ramsay showed up in Mr. Beast's Chocolate Factory video made the video actually a little bit like a lot more funner to watch. And I'm familiar with Ramsay. He's a he's quite the popular uh, chef from the UK. So yeah, I haven't seen uh, any of the shows, any of the reality shows. And <laughs> that Chocolate Factory video felt I don't know. It might sound kind of silly to you nerds, but that video felt like a reality show. Well, that's because Ramsey uh, was the special guest of Mr. Beast's video that I saw yesterday. And uh, I, I just really love that video very much because it actually gave me nostalgia to me. It, it gave me so much nostalgia from the times I watched... Uh, I watched... I have seen Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory and Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, both of those movies. The Willy Wonka one is a 1971 one, and the other film uh, came out in 2005, so I have seen uh, both of those movies before. I don't know which one I prefer. I think I, I don't know, I prefer the one from 2005 because I was born in the 2000s, specifically the year 2000, so yeah. I'll have to check out more videos from Mr. Beast, or by Mr. Beast, uh, at some point, you know, uh, sometime in the future. Well, it's gonna be very, very, very soon. Um, yeah, I'll have to check out that one video of uh, Mr. Beast planting a bunch of trees. He's actually planting uh, 20 million trees. Millions of trees like that. Insane. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that or how I should deeply describe that uh, achievement. Well, I don't know if it's really an achievement, but that goal made by Mr. Beast. Okay, nerds, here's the current progress of the Mr. Beast drawing, or the drawing of Mr. Beast. I don't know if you nerds can really tell that there's a small, like a very, very small difference. You know, the left side of his hair from his perspective. I tried using a white gel pen. Kind of works well, barely, actually. I don't really have to use the, the scissors strategy that often in this part of his hair. I don't know if there's really, there's not really that much difference to... His hair I had added more color over here, down here as well. I had added like pink and purple and like different shades of brown. Had added a little bit of pink to his forehead. Very difficult to see, nerds. I do apologize. I worked on uh, more of his hair over here. His eye, I think I really love his left eye. So far, this drawing is starting to become much more familiar. I'm liking it so far. I added some shading where his nose is at you know i added a couple shades of gray i was feeling a little bit nervous about uh, working on his eye i did use a pencil to work on uh, several parts of his eye including uh, his eyelashes and like this part of this eye and even the other side so that is going to be the end of this video uh the end of this part stay tuned for more content i hope this video or this part was quite enjoyable to watch. Feel free to subscribe to this channel. Feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Oh, and also, feel free to follow my Facebook page. And thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time.